This is Dylan Siebert going over check-in number four. Time spent studying is about 40 minutes. I went over chapter 13, lecture one, or N1. Um, and then basically I've just been doing um, wind tunnel things, getting that ready over this last weekend. Um, so basically the first video, chapter 13 and one, went over reviewing work and energy and what the equations are for those. Um, and kind of just reviewed that work equals force times distance. Um, and that's a dot product. So that will give us a scalar as our work. Um, and then basically if the function is changing or the position is changing, um, then we would need to integrate. Um, then we reviewed all of the um, equations for kinetic energy and potential energy. Um, kinetic is one half mv squared. Potential energy um, is just uh, basically due to the spring constant or gravity, um, mass times gravity. And then if that is changing, then you would just integrate from your different y value points, point one to point two, point two to point one. And then there's Newton's, I believe, second law or first law, where the conservation of energy should be second law. Um, so basically, kinetic energy plus the work done. Um, and if it is changing, then it's the change of in work equals um, kinetic energy after the fact. Um, and then we went over planetary force and how the variables change there, wrote down that equation. Um, and then same thing with the spring. Um, it's just integrating the change of distance with relation to the spring constant um, from x1, x2 to x1. Um, and then when no work is done, this one I'm sure I will need to spend more time on. Um, and it's zero, then it's gonna be an orthogonal vector um, from my understanding. But yeah, basically that's what I reviewed. Let's see what else. Videos watched, homework problems completed. I started on number one, I'm still working through it. Um, and then, yeah, I've just met with my group. I talk to them weekly. Um, talk to Emiliano every other day, kind of about how far we've gotten on the homework, if we ran into anything that we don't understand. And yeah, next videos will be likely on impulse and momentum. And that is all.